Today's video is all about time efficiency for profits. So what I'm going to show you today is we are using a mammoth to transport lots of tier two hide over to Martlock to refine it at a bonus. And then we're going to check the market prices. And if the market prices are worse, we're going to transport it back to Bridgewatch. And we're going to record the time that it takes to do this so that we can see, well, what if I just sold the hide as is here? and then just wouldn't farm something else for that same exact amount of time. Would I profit more? And that's what I'm getting at at today's video. Let me just show you the numbers. Uh, I, I checked the Bridgewatch prices, so Rugged Hide, if I sell my 999 stacks to buy orders, or to, yeah, to buy orders, or if I listed below everyone else, I would sell at 40. And if I do Stiff Leather, which is what this will, um, you know, refine into, then that only sells for 24, which is a loss, but you do get more back. So we're going to go to Martlock right now, uh, st timer started, uh, it's uh, one minute into the video, and we're going to walk together, no speed ups, no edits, no editing at all in this video, and uh, we're going to see how long it takes to get there, it's about seven to nine minutes, I believe, and we're, <laughs> I think that's actually how long it takes on a normal amount, but I am on a mammoth, because there's no way you can transport this amount of goods on a regular mount. Also. I'm fully armored. I've got a Fort Sterling cape. I don't have a bag or anything because my weight is only 35, so there's no reason for me to have a bag or potions or anything. Uh, I should be fine unless I get mass ganged up on by uh, red yellow zone gankers. I'm not going through the red zones. Of course not. I would get absolutely slapped and murdered by like, battle mounts or something. Oh, look, new rewards. Um, <laughs> what did I get? Uh, another referral. Okay. That's a separate video for another time. But uh, yes, we are now going to Martlock, and we're going to see how long this takes, and we're going to see if we can sell at a better profit, like a decent profit at Martlock, with the, the Rugged Hide or the Stiff Leather, we'll do it. But most likely not. And then, since we can't, we're going to haul it back to Bridgewatch so we can sell it for that profit. And then we're going to see how long this entire process took, and then I can just see if it's worth doing or not. And I know what you're probably also going to say. You're probably going to say something like, Why don't you wait until the daily activities? Which, um, right here. Uh, why don't you wait until that says, you know, a leather bonus or a hide refining bonus? And the answer is, I've been waiting since February. <laughs> it's April. It's been two, it's, all been, it's been over 60 days. And it has not shown up once. Normally, it shows up every 20 days from, from my record keeping on West. But at some point, it just stopped showing up. I don't know if those are being generated completely randomly or if they're being generated based on what players are doing and how much they're refining or, or something, but it has not shown up in 60 days, and I can't I can't sit around and just wait to make this video. I've been wanting to make this video for two months, uh, waiting for it to happen so that I can get, you know, just slightly better numbers. But I'm, I'm just not. It, I'm... These... Hides have been burning a hole in my chests for a while, and I know I've got plenty of money, and I've got plenty of gold and stuff, but, um, you know, this is just being untapped. This is un this is just money that needs to be liquidated, so that's what we gotta do. Now, <laughs> this, uh, this cougar cannot even auto-attack me. That's funny. Alright, we are several zones away. Not too many zones, but it's, it's just a straight line from here to Marlock. It's not that bad. It's just... This is kind of boring, and uh, there's no anime to watch. I have been perusing for for new animes, and they're all disgusting. Like they're all boring, and they're all they all feel so samey. I don't know. I'm I'm just not hyped for any of them. But other than than that, uh, on this channel, you know, we might explore some. What is it? The new Minecraft game coming out, Minecraft Legends. Now I'm a huge RTS fan. I like StarCraft. I like Age of Empires. I like all those games. And this looks like to be an RTS, but it's like a third person kind of like you lead the front of your army kind of thing. I don't know, but from all the developer videos I've seen, it's like they're playing it efficiently. If you have five workers and five builders and thousands of resources in an RTS, you're playing terribly. Like if you play StarCraft optimally, your resources are almost always going to be empty. All right, your workers will never be idle. All right, same thing with Age of Empires. Like, yeah, you can do an, an econ boom and then scout your enemy and then counter. That's fine. That's part of the game. But 
I feel like Minecraft Legends is going to be spam constant enemies while you have one builder at your base and the other four go out and just uh, harass. It, it basically turns into a 4v1. Um, I'm not sure how death works in that game. Like, if your commander dies, is, is it permadeath? I have no idea. But it'll be, like, that comes out on the 18th, which is in 10 days. You're probably going to watch this on the 11th or the 10th. I don't know how my video scheduling currently is at the moment. But I do have to make a little bit of a divergence here on the road. I'm going to turn on auto run and check the map. So we're going to go to Croker and then Adrenus. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Or we can go to Carnes and then Adrenus. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think we'll just go Carnes Adrenus. Uh, so it's been, what, four minutes now, and we're maybe halfway there. There are people that swear on doing the Mammoth Transport thing all day every day. They say, oh, once you get a Mammoth, you can just make 20 million a day. And it's like, well, that might be true, but it's... It, oh my god, is it boring as hell? Yes, it absolutely is. Now, I have so much rugged leather that when I refine it, it's going to overflow my inventory, so I'm going to have to sell some of it at Martlock anyway. Or store it at Martlock and come back and get it later. That's a, that's, that's a thing you can do. But me, I, I don't... This is just all... This is just all tier 2 hide from skinning. I didn't buy this. I didn't go to the market and buy it. I, I manually earned all of this through laborers. This is just from laborers, by the way. Because uh, I sell what I gather that day, and then I, I just... Uh, whenever I do my labors, I just throw it all in the chest. I don't sell it. I know I'm weird. I don't care. But, um... And yes, I'm aware I can maybe do some shortcuts and make this trip slightly faster. I'm not really paying much attention here. I'm just chilling with, uh, with you guys. But you guys don't exist yet because I'm, this is a video and not a stream. I know it's super... You know, it's really awkward to talk to yourself when you film videos. I know people don't quite understand this. Um, also, I'm not faction flagged, so I can't participate in that fight down there, uh, which would kind of defeat the purpose of the video. Uh, the reason why I'm not faction flagged is because I would have to unflag before entering Martlock, and also I would be attacked by every faction player ever. Have you ever seen a faction player on a, on a mammoth? Now, a long time ago, I actually almost made a members video. Uh, this was before the 8.4 patch, by the way. The patch that introduced 8.4 items, but... There was a, there's a trick you can use to defeat, uh, you can solo an outpost boss, but you had to have a mammoth to do it. And I know that sounds weird, but the reason why is the mammoth has the most health and the most armor. And so that's kind of what it was about. But because 8.4 items exist and I have maximum specs, it's, um, it's not really relevant anymore. And besides that, you're going to have 8.4 weapons and armor and maximum specs before you'll ever be able to afford a mammoth anyway. And also, when I ran numbers on non-masterpiece mammoths, it didn't work. Uh, so, yeah. And then as far as world bosses go, you can do something similar uh, with a battle mount, and it's really hard to do. But um, those are full loot zones, so you're just going to be giving away a battle mount if you try it. Like, it's it, like if the game gets super low in population, like down to like less than like a thousand people playing a day or something, then maybe it would be viable, but the, the battle mount is worth way too much silver to be risking it soloing a world boss. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just not something you're ever going to do, but it is possible to do it. I've always wondered, can I do this? And... It takes a long time, and there's no way you're going to have that amount of free time before someone scouts you, or a rat, you know, sneaks around and tries to boop you into mobs and unsummons your... Like, if you unsummon that battle mount, you can't, you can't do it. You can't escape. It's over. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, lots of other little things like that. Hmm. We are... We're all, we gotta go through Blackthorn Quarry, and then we're there. And then we can start the refining process, which is an, another time sink I just want to mention. I will be timing the amount of time it takes to refine all of this stuff. And yes, I'm aware you can eat a salad and speed up the refining. But, you know, that that's extra cost, that's extra hassle. And that's only two minutes. Like, the salads are only active for two minutes, so you'd have to eat multiple salads. 
And uh, we're not doing that, okay? Because, you know, it's mostly an AFK activity anyway. I don't even really know if I should honestly count it, but I don't know. We're already at nine minutes for this trip, so we can say that the round trip is 18 minute, Like, 18 minute round trip. That's where... Well, no, it's gonna be more because I'm not even there yet. It's gonna it's gonna be ten minutes probably. Yeah, it took us ten minutes to ride here. Yikes, dude! I hit, like in real life, I can get to pretty much anywhere I want in ten to fifteen minutes. This is literally a car ride in real life across a city. <laughs> when you think about it, um, <laughs> how many miles have we covered on this mammoth? All right, we have, this is it. Martlock is just over the horizon here. We do have to go around this um, static zone. Why are, why are their statics dead in the middle of the map? That's super unfair. That's super convenient, too. Whereas Bridgewatch statics are in the corners. I mean, it's harder to run away, you know? Like, they, they, can, just boop, they can just run out if they get invaded or something. You know, I thought about maxing my dagger spec purely and only for the purpose of ganking statics. Yes, in the blue zone... People faction flagged in their 8.4 shadow callers. I stealth up. I one shot them with the dagger pair, and then I just leave. And then they they get stuck with that massive repair bill, and uh, you don't get a lot of like faction points or anything for it. But uh, it, that's a huge investment. I'm still thinking about doing it. I I just don't want to do the, <laughs> the the fame farm grind. I kind of want to save all my combat fame credits for the new weapon line if it's any good, you know? That is, uh, uh those two names almost look similar. I don't know. Sometimes that's, uh, signs of multi-boxing, but I, I don't know. You know, it would be funny if the mammoths got scared of little rats. Like, if you encountered a rat mob or, like, these marmots, that your, uh, mammoth would, like, get feared away from it or something. <laughs> Alright, almost there. Let's go. Now, because I'm only doing Tier 2 refining, it's completely free, so I'm not paying a single dime to these, uh, you know, shop stalls. Alright, it is, um, officially Easter in 15 minutes, my time, which, Easter is a cursed day for me. I have had horrible Easter's throughout my entire life, and so on Easter I don't do anything. I sit in in my you know room and do nothing at all. Okay, let's just yeah we can just go right here to the tanner. Um, I have to check the market first, actually. Duh, always check the market. Let's get it back on screen. All right, so that again that took a uh, twelve minutes. Damn. Yeah, so that took 12 minutes. We might have been able to shave off a minute if we really, like, min-maxed our route. But, doubtful. So anyway, yeah, Easter being a cursed day, just during my childhood, just never had a good Easter. Uh, so I just, I don't know. Alright, Stiff Leather here is 32, so that's pretty good. Is that the average pro Yeah, it's actually, it's actually better to sell the Stiff Leather here for some reason. That's odd. That is very odd. Okay, but what about... Rugged leather. How much are you selling for? Also, no, wait. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh... Tier 2, come on. Just, uh, not rugged leather, but... Rugged hide. That's why it wasn't showing up. Dang! Should I... Just transporting in here and selling it raw is actually a decent deal. But, um... I don't know. <laughs> There's too much math involved now. <laughs> We're gonna refine it anyway, just because that was supposed to be what the video was about. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn. You know, I could just go buy the hide <laughs> and just sell it here. That's so stupid. Uh, I guess there hasn't been a lot of people doing it. Uh, this guy wants to sell a carving masterpiece um, sword, but I don't have any swords back, and I don't know why he's messaging me. I'm muted. Um, maybe he's just messaging everyone that walks by him, or maybe it's because I'm a YouTuber. 9,999 usage fee. Oh, boy. All right, we can get 5,000, it says. Um, why only 5,000? Well, whatever. I think that's all I can carry. Yeah, that's all I can carry. So, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be... We're just gonna sell it. Whatever. I don't care. So, we can look at the estimated market value down here. It's at 1.71 million. We can see if that goes up. But, uh... <laughs> 
Uh, what even is this video, man? I am so dry on video ideas. I don't know what to make. I don't know what to talk about. The, th the problem is that I have, like, I look at my old videos and they're still relevant because the game doesn't update enough. The game doesn't change enough. The only things that's changed that have confused the viewers is there's not poison on the mage cow anymore and then the price of guilds went up. That's it. That's all people are, like, confused about. And they're brand new, so it's obviously confusing when you watch a, a video and it's a whole different skill on a freaking item. It's... A really dumb change. I miss the old Mage Cal, but anyway, it's it's better for PvE, you know? It's better for dungeons, it's better for, you know, all that crap. But whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, so our estimated market value did go up by 20,000. That's it. 20,000. Oh, man. And that was for five squares. <laughs> like... This is, uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, why can't we have more inventory slots? <laughs> so, uh, what else can I talk about to pass the time? Oh, the, the Mario movie. Let's talk about, you know, the, you know, I'm not going to make a separate video for that because it's not some indie thing or an anime thing. That's a mainstream thing, okay? Mario movie, I thought it was all right. I thought it was okay. You know, it's um it's it's true to the a lot of people don't realize it, but it's true to the, to the old comic lore. Okay, we got 30,000, it says, in estimated market value for this. So, uh, I don't know if I should be writing that down or what, but... <laughs> okay, so as we refine, we're getting a little bit of space back. But um, eventually it's going to fill up and we'll have to sell a few. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, it, I thought it was alright. It had a lot of um, interesting, you know, things. Uh, a lot of callbacks to the older games. And... It, I can't really say on YouTube the exact reason why I enjoy it, but let's just say it, it didn't involve any of the modern things movies have. I guess that's because Nintendo had to sign off on it, and Nintendo is Japan. Japan is very traditional with its media. So yeah, very refreshing, actually, to not have an agenda shoved in my face in a movie. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, why is Princess Toadstool freaking, why is she like a girl boss or whatever, and it's like, have you seen the old Nintendo Power comics? She, that's exactly how she was, like, in those. She was very empowered and, and a, and a go-getter and ready for action. Even in, like, Super Mario RPG, she was that way. Uh, if you've ever watched, like, the recent, the newer game, the new Mario, yeah, newer Mario games, the speedruns use her, you know, very beastly, right? Uh, they, like, completely min-max the game, and it's just super fluid. So I think the movie was more true to the games than to what normies that, you know, old dudes that played, like, the arcade or whatever way back in the day were expecting or something. Okay, yeah, this is gonna fill up my inventory right here. So, um, how much have we gotten? We've gotten 70,000 from this. This is not worth the time at all. There's no... there's no... Whatever, I'm gonna sell a little bit so we can get some room. I can do this all. What's like a little barcode name? Freaking one zero one one zero one. I'm not gonna finish that. The AI might get me. That would be a funny like movie plot, wouldn't it? It's like you write down a bunch of ones and zeros on a paper, and then you have someone say it out loud, and then the AIs just assassinate them for blasphemy or something. I don't know. Someone, someone make it. Someone write it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was sell for thirty. Oh no. It's not like I need the money anyway. I'm just trying to make a video about something, guys. Uh, let's sell the stiff leather. There we go. We're selling it. Alright. Uh, does anyone have the black bunnies yet? I hear bunnies hopping around, but whatever. They're way too much. Like, right now, the Carleone Cottontail, the lowest I've seen on sale is 40 million silver, which is stupid. I ain't paying 40 million silver for a mouth that you can't even activate its ability unless five players are around the mount would probably be pretty good if you had a, t a bunch of friends that also had the mount and you were doing open world chests that would be pretty cool actually so the way the mount works for those that, are, that don't know is you uh you have to have five players around and then whenever you enter the frenzy mode if there are five players around your hop skill turns into a bite skill when you bite a player, they take damage, and then everyone around them gets feared. So if you have, like, ten people, and you're camping a, a chest in the open world, 
And I'm talking yellow zones here. You're not going to bring a 40 million sil silver bunny mount out into a dangerous zone. Like, that would just be stupid. You'll get ganged up on by 100 people and they'll kill you. So, <laughs> whenever the chest spawns, you go to that area and when you all flag it for PvP, you sit on your mount, which has a, a decent amount of health. And you all use the frenzy at the same time on the same guy. So it's just a bunch of rabid bunnies jumping one dude and murdering him instantly. And um, and then if there's still five people around, you can jump to the next guy and murder them too. And if maybe they're if they're really beefy or something, or the mount's damage gets nerfed, it's still annoying to take damage. You might be able to dismount someone with just your own mount. You know, mounted combat and warfare. Why doesn't this game have that? I know battle mounts exist, but what about for us yellow players? All right, this video is it's been 20 minutes, so we're we're not even on the way back home yet. I just sold here for inventory space purposes, right? I, and and technically, I wouldn't need to to walk home with the mammoth because I can just sell my inventory and then you know use the travel planner and pay a small fee. But uh, most people, that's what they do. They travel one to one city and they mass refine. And this is what a lot of new players, they get into this refining trap because they go on Reddit and they're like, how do I make silver? And the first thing every Reddit, you know, big-brained, big-bellied person says is, um, refine, you know, use your focus points on refining. Yeah, <laughs> go, go, go get that, right? And so, you know, even as in, when I was a new player, it's what I used to do. I used to mine, not mine, I used to chop trees in Limhurst, and then I would ride to Fort Sterling, and I would refine the trees, and I, because you would get more planks that way. Then I would ride back to Limhurst, and then I would craft bows, and then I would ride to Bridgewatch to sell the bows, because Limhurst had too many bows, and Bridgewatch had no bows, so I, so I would, you know, be able to sell my own bows. And it was just a huge time sink, whereas if I took all that time and just gathered for the same amount of time, I would have made way more. Like, uh, how much have I made refining so far? Um, 140,000 silver in 20, 21 minutes. And we're going to get another 10 minutes too? Like, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that is not good. That is... Like, I should have just sold the, just sell the leather as soon as I get it from the laborer and not bother with this junk. You know, this, make this someone else's problem, right? You know, because the, the thing, the, tr the real truth is, once it becomes really worth doing, people are automatically doing it. Like, there are people that ride mammoths using bots, and the bots just automatically transport there. Um... I know a long time ago, there was an automated market bot that did all of this. It would, like, go... It would scan all the markets, and then it would it would transport from one city to another. It would buy low and sell high all day long. And the owner would just wake up to hundreds of millions of silver the next day. Uh, I'm, I know they banned a bunch of them. I, I don't know what happened. I, like, I don't know if it's still going on or not. So, who knows? But if you want to look for it, oh boy, I bet it's happening on East, because East is a nightmare server. And we all knew this was going to happen. It's not like it's a surprise, okay? And I know you guys on East, you're probably like, What are you talking crap about my server, Soul Benji? But it's true. Why am I only able to set, to do that much? This bench is fully fed. It's at crafting capacity. Why, why am I only able to do 2,000 at a time? That's a little weird. A little sus among us. Sort and stack. Let's see it. Oh, oh, it's my inventory's full again. <laughs> yeah, I guess. See, I brought way too much. Okay, so we made what? Um, this will be like 170k or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly like, not even really enthused about this. But you can see this whole process. It's, <laughs> it's something else. I'm trying to remain entertaining and not have dead air, but. Uh, got quite a lot of heartburn right now, and, uh, I, <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to keep talking, because it just constantly burns. And I know you want something to listen to while you play. I actually thought about doing a live stream today as I film this, but it's like, 
I have nothing to do in the game other than fame farm, and that's super grievable, man. Like, gathering is is, is a little bit harder, but oh, I just I just don't want to I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do the grind, man. Okay, yeah, we're <laughs> look at us sell. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I've, uh, I don't even think I've gotten a million out of what I've sold. Of course not. I mean, we're selling tier two here. It's not that big of a deal. And yes, I know there are people that do this. They, they put more math and effort into it, and they're doing it with the higher tiers. But I don't own... I don't own the refining benches, okay? I... <laughs> uh, if, you, if you own the benches, of course it's totally worth it. But um, I don't, so... Yeah. We are here selling... There we go. Let's go refine the next batch. Man, oh man, this is taking... For I didn't think it'd take this long. Otherwise, I would have never made a video. But it's too late. I'm in too deep. I've got to recoup the time. <laughs> and uh, I don't... I literally have no video ideas at all. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Like, I'm just going to run out of video ideas. And then there won't be any more Albion videos. And then people are going to be like, Whoa, What happened to Soul Benji? Blah. Oh, that's a lot. 18,781 remaining. Yikers! That's a big yikers. You see, I'm yawning. It's boring. You shouldn't be yawning when playing an MMORPG. Hmm. Let's see if there's any YouTube comments I can read out loud. Alright. Here's one thing I don't get. Uh, people that leave comments about how they failed the Discord questionnaire... Like, if you fail that, it means we're not compatible. Why are you still hanging out? Why, why are you still watching me? Like, go go watch uh, some Redditor or something. We're not compatible at all. Like, it makes no sense to me that they would leave a comment and be like, Well, I'm still gonna watch you even though I, was, I didn't get in the Discord. It's like, bro. <laughs> yeah, we are not meant to be friends. At some point, you're just gonna get mad at a video I make and that'll be it. You're just, we've wasted your time. You know, it, I am not compatible with many people, unfortunately, so, um, but it's whatever. I, I don't understand. Am I, I think my inventory is going to fill up again before I'm, oh man, this is, this is nightmarish. This is not how I want to spend a Saturday night. <laughs> That's for sure, but, um, okay, let's look at some YouTube comments here. Anything good, anything juicy, people complaining about being killed by speed hackers on East. Yeah, man, like, okay, what's weird is the speed, ha there were speed hackers on West. It was one, it was one Russian group that did it. Just one little Russian group. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna go into details, but, um, essentially they would, they would get banned, they would get hardware, IP, ban, whatever, and then they would come back, like, a few days later and do it again, and then they would get banned, and they did it for, like, about a month, and then they just disappeared and stopped. I guess it got boring, or it was not profitable. I don't know what the deal was. Other comments. Someone wants to know about hardcore expeditions and why I don't do them, and I have to tell them in the comments, I don't have any friends. I can't do hardcore. You can't solo those, to my knowledge. Uh, <laughs> they have way too much HP to solo anyway. Mm. Let's see, people praising the, the tutorial video. Uh... I, a lot of people asking, oh, why does the mage cow give poison? Oh, it's only a fireball in my game. Yeah, it's called a pat. Like, here's the thing. Here's another really frustrating thing as a YouTuber. Is, like, on an older video, I will go back and I will pin a comment that says, hey, this changed. And people, what they'll do is they'll watch the video and they'll scroll through the description. They'll scroll past the description and not read it, where I also put it. And then they will go to the pinned comment and ignore it. And then they'll ask a question. They'll ask, oh, guilds are a million silver now, but in this video it wasn't. What happened? Well, if they read the pinned comment or the description, it's it tells you what happened. I can't, like, edit a video that's already been uploaded. I can, I can make a new one. Those things take a lot of time and effort to make. And uh, it's a little too soon. The algorithm won't recognize it. And it'll just be lost, and people will just watch the old one, right? I don't get to, uh, I can't just, like, take, make the same video twice. Uh, YouTube will be like, you're, you've already made this three months ago, bro. What are you doing? We're just going to show your audience the old one whenever people search, you know, for the beginner guy. We're going to show them the old one, not the new one you made, because not enough time has passed. 
It's like, okay, YouTube, well, I'll just uh, pin comments and change my descriptions and and talk about it in every video that maybe they might watch. And hopefully people will be more informed, but that's not the case. Uh, <laughs> so it's really annoying, unfortunately. What else can I read here? Um, one guy I want to know about becoming a dedicated chef for a, uh, a shop stall. So, to become a dedicated chef for a, a shop stall, that requires socialization, discord, exchanges, and all that kind of crap. But essentially, these shop stalls, refining stalls, crafting stalls, whatever you want to call them, they all require food. And the shop owner would rather just pay a chef and give them the materials to cook the food to keep the bench fed constantly, even when they're asleep and not around. Essentially, you become a servant, right? You know, they're a super rich shop owner, and they own a mansion, and you're their chef. So the way it works is uh, throughout the day, you log into your chef character and you craft food and you feed the stall. The owner gives you the food. You spend your focus so you can craft it cheaper, of course. And um, they pay you a flat rate. They pay you uh, the cost of premium plus a bonus. Uh, usually the rate is like two to three million a day. And then they're also giving you food, of course, you know, to feed it. So, and then, you know, Depending on how well they know you is how much food they'll give you at a time. Uh, because, you know, they're not just going to hand over, like, 200 million <laughs> silver worth of ingredients and then you just ghost them and not feed their station. That would really suck. So some of them will, you know, they'll, they'll give you a little bit here and there. And some will just dump a whole bunch of supplies and be like, only only feed the bench, like, goose omelets or something. And you're like, okay. So you just, you log in, you cook your goose omelets with focus... You feed the bench and you log out, and that's your job, and you and you get paid for it. So, it's uh, it, it's just nice side money. Like, and, and the more chef characters that you have maxed out, the better. Like, they only want maxed out chef characters because they want you crafting at max efficiency. Because, like, sometimes one character, even with like ten thousand focus, is not enough food to craft to to keep a, a shop stall fed one day. So you're expected, uh, because sometimes the shop stalls will go up and down in activity, you're expected to craft that food every day and, and keep a big stock on hand. And then you have to let the owner know, hey, um, I'm out of focus and I'm out of ingredients, or you know, I can cook it raw, but th there's no point. Then the owner doesn't. The owner could just cook it raw. Like, like, not raw, but without focus. So what ends up happening is the owner has to go and buy the food from the market, uh, and t to keep the shop stall going, otherwise he loses business. It's a whole big mess of problems. And so that's why the more chefs you have, the better. Because, like, most shop stall owners own shop stalls everywhere. They own more than one. A lot of them do, at least. So if you own six characters... and all six of those characters have maximum chef skills, then you will be able to keep, you know, multiple stalls, you know, up and running throughout the day, every day. And you'll be paid decently for it, because the, the shop owner will be making money, and you will be making money from his payment. Essentially, you don't have to worry about doing any math, or crafting, or spreadsheeting, or transporting, or any of that crap. Your character solely exists just to keep someone else's character afloat. It's not bad. I know I'm getting you're getting lots of dead air right now. I uh like I said it's just a whole lot of heartburn and I took antacids. Uh it's not helping. It's I don't know what the deal is, but man, this this video is getting long, dude. <laughs> what am I going to title it? What what is the description going to be like? I don't even know anymore. But we're we're just hanging out. We're just we're just doing some refining today. <laughs> And some, trans some transporting, even though I don't need to transport back to Bridgewatch. Uh, so I don't know about that. I mean, like, you, you see the numbers. It's uh, it's way better for me to sell here than it is to uh, sell at Bridgewatch. So we just won't have to transport back. <laughs> uh, but you can see here, like, it's been 33 minutes of actual laborious work. And for what? I think I've made maybe three to 400,000 extra. Which, um, in 30 minutes, I can make 
Well, about the same amount gathering. I'll be real. Like, like if I gathered for 30... If I skin for 30 minutes, that's like 400k. Uh, sometimes more. Sometimes 600k, depending on, like, tone drops, baby drops. Stuff like that. Uh, stone gathering, 3 to 400k. So, I... I <laughs> I mean, yes, I could. You, as a normal player, you could AFK this part, you know. Uh, you could just AFK the whole refining part, sure, I guess. I don't know. I find this super boring, to be honest. Like, this is not why... Th this is not what I lay in bed and think about when I think about Albion Online, you know. It's like, it's like you're on the phone and you're twirling the phone cord in between your fingers and you're like, So what are you thinking about? And people won't understand this reference because they don't know what a phone cord is. You know, back when phones had cords connected to walls, and you had to, to call someone, you had to spin this little spinny wheel. You'd put your finger in the number hole, and then you'd twist it around, and then it would twist back, and then you put your finger in the next hole and twist it around. It was so stupid, right? So you're like, you're on the phone, you're like, what are you thinking about? It's like, I don't know, just refining an Albion, I guess. And it's like, what the hell's Albion? Bro, this is 1992. What are you talking about? <laughs> what ga Ooh, what were some good games in 1992? I know a lot of y'all weren't born back then, but let's see. Best games 1992. We got Sonic. Ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yes. Streets of, Streets of Rage 2. That was a good Wolfenstein 3D. King's Quest. Oh, Super Mario Kart. Ultima. Underworld. Um... Yeah, Kirby's Dreamland. We got Lunar the Silver Star. Um, I thought that it was called the Silver Star Story, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, what else? Uh, there was a Hook game, Romancing Saga. I don't, I don't like the Saga series. I think it sucks, honestly. Uh, Wizards and Warriors. Adam's fan. Eh, Adam's fan just sucked. Mario Paint also 1992. Hell yeah. Contra Force. Shining Force, George Foreman's KO Boxing, yeah. Final Fantasy V. I, I've never finished that one. Like, that one was really hard to find in 1992. I'm going to be real. Contra 3. That one was... I don't. I think that was the harder one, wasn't it? Desert... Oh, Desert Strike. I like that game. Yeah. Uh, not not the StarCraft mod, but the original. You're, you're like in a chopper. It's like a top. It's like Albion, but you're in a chopper. <laughs> you're in an attack helicopter. It's pretty cool. I think. I think it's pretty neat. Oh, man, this is exhausting. All this refining. Jeez. Remember when you could drain a bench with uh, cr their crafting capacity with tier two? I sure do. Remember when the Mafia, or the Cartel, or whatever they called themselves, would just flood... They, they would surround, like, an enemy shop stall with, like, ten bamets and just drain it. It was so funny to see. You know, like, they'd be like, hey, this bench is closed, move on. I'm like, okay, bro. Don't hurt me, dog. Don't shoot me in the streets with your Tommy guns, bro. Hmm. What is... What? Is there anything interesting on the internet right now? Let's see... Hmm. Let's see. More, we're, more and more programmers have started noticing this game, so we might get some useful websites soon. They don't die in a few days. I, I don't know, man. This is like the only game where, like, like a lot of website owners, they tell me that, like, you know, they would make like a wiki or a, an automated little API thingamajig uh, to help you like do your daily crap in Albion, but the advertisements and the audience that would use those websites. The ad pay is so low that they would just bleed money if they hosted their own website for that kind of stuff. So that's why they don't do it. Which is a shame, because all the other games they do it. Hmm. Let's see here. Pyroblast changes, eating fish overpowered. Reddit sucks. Like, the Albion Reddit is terrible. It's so bad. It's the same, like, 50 people. And every time it's the same guilds advertising, it's the same YouTubers that just dump their video. Like, that doesn't work. You don't, you can't just dump a link to your video and expect it to do anything, right? Like, and it's the same ones every day. They dump the link and then they expect, like, oh, this is how, this is how you get views. I have never posted my videos on the subreddit, not once, ever. 
Uh, at least not in the last couple of years. I mean, I've been banned for who knows how long now, but... Um, and I know people sometimes drop my videos. I tell people usually not to because, um, you know, they'll, it's all the haters. They'll just downvote it, which actually helps the video. Don't tell them that. Don't tell my haters that that actually helps the video. But I mean, if, if y'all want to drop links on, on the subreddit to my videos, go for it because it pisses them off. Every day, someone should make a thread on the subreddit. That's like, so a binge is the best, you know, and then you'll have like all the same people with their copy pastas and, and, you know, to be fair, those copy pastas actually help me out because it helps filter out people that wouldn't make a good fit for us anyway. Uh, because I'm always looking for, you know, certain types of people to hang out and talk with and, and be part of the fam. But, um, you know, the copy pastas like, oh, he's a bad guy, he's a villain. But anyone that's on our side that sees those copy pastas would be like, oh, that dude is based. Oh, that dude is red pilled. I, I like this guy. I got to check him out. He sounds like a lad. And, and, you know, it really does help because cause I don't want people that aren't aligned the way we are to waste their time with us. And um, at the same time, it's like, well, you know, some people out there, they think all YouTubers are just on that side of the community when we're in fact not. Uh, yeah, we can't be fully on, on the correct side because of YouTube's policies, but... Other than that, you know, you just don't bring it up on, on this platform, but... Off-platform, off-site, oh yeah. <laughs> there we go, we did it. <laughs> we made, um... I think we made, like, about 500k. I don't know exactly how much we made. I guess it doesn't really... Elderly Corn Dog. What a name! Look at this guy's name! He's a little newbie. Elderly Corn Dog. <laughs> What a what a fun and exciting and invigorating name, man. I don't know why I'm so amused by that. Anyway, let's um this is a little unhappy face, dude. A little naked dance. Alright, twenty-seven versus twenty-four. Well well I guess we're selling here. <laughs> uh man, I wish I could do this an easier way, but whatever. We're just gonna drain all these buy orders real quick with our uh, Mammoth Hall. And, uh, yeah, we still got plenty left. And, yes, you could scout out other cities to see if there's an even better deal, but I don't, I don't honestly care, man. We had something like 42,000, so I'm not gonna be able to fulfill all of these sell orders. Uh, and then the other town, Bridgewatch, you know, the, those orders were 24. So if these are 24 here, I might as well just sell them here so I can fast travel back. That's just how it is. And you can see that my money is like, it's sad to see it's not even moving. It is uh, depressing. But that's okay. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, tomorrow's video that um, that I'm going to make is going to just boost my money like crazy. Maybe. I don't know. I, I kind of want gold to be worth more before I do that video. But I feel like if I wait too long, something bad will happen. I just have that gut feeling that it's like they're going to screw it up or revoke. Uh, the, the referral gold or something. I don't know. <laughs> I get these gut little feels sometimes. Okay, we've knocked it down to 24, which is equal to bridge watch. And uh, I can save myself 10 minutes of walking if I just sell my remaining stock here. So there we go. And yes, I could use sell order, but it's not much more. Look, uh, what is this? A stack at 99? 22k versus 28k. So 5,000? Oh no. Kill like a few mobs and get 5,000 bro. Like, deal, yes. There we go, we, we actually went up 1 million, not even, it's just rounding up on the damn UI, I hate that. I wish you could turn that off, that's so stupid. Okay, well that took 43 minutes to do. And um, yeah, we didn't make that much money in 43 minutes. That was a big, and this is gonna cost us too, look. 27,000 to transfer back home. So... <laughs> That's, uh, that's depressing. That really is. But we did it. We refined all the stuff. I can store all this. And, uh, that's mission complete, guys. So that took, well, that took f over 40 minutes to make jump change. So when people tell you that once you get a mammoth, it's super easy street. It's, it's not, dude. It's, it's really not. Like, 
Uh, what's that number? What's this again? Yes, I could buy the rugged hide and then go to uh, Martlock, you know, in 10 minutes and sell it for 60. You know, that's a 50% flip for a little while, right? And then until everyone else does it, it's not. But, you know, that takes a lot of planning and math and ups and downs and there's risk involved. And I just don't, I'm just not about that risk. I just don't care. How many how many journals do I don't have any I have 18 left to, to turn in. I'm not gonna do it. I got too much gold. I'm lazy. That's it. That's the video. I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you want to become a channel member, which you know, like on Twitch, when you subscribe, you pay five bucks a month. On YouTube, you can become a channel member. It's five bucks a month. Right down here where my cursor's bouncing, there is a join button. Go ahead and click that, and you get access to private more personal videos. Uh, those are advanced guides, advanced flipping guides, and lots of cool stuff there. Lots of person, personal or private videos uh, that are not meant for the public, and they're too good for the public because if I made those videos public, then everyone would do those methods, and then we would all lose. So there you go. With that said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. And right now, there's a video on the right side of your screen. Go ahead and click it, and I'll see you next time.